Downward oblique chop. Upward diagonal cut. Downward oblique chop. The weapon that Master Liu uses here is the willow leaf saber. Notice how Master Liu ties a red ribbon to the ring on the saber before he enters the field. In China, this is called the knife color and it has three main functions. First, to wipe the blood off the blade. Second, to prevent the saber from falling off when used with one hand by tying it to the wrist. Third, to increase the flexibility of the saber when used with two hands. By holding the ribbon with the back hand and using it as an axis to swing the blade. Holding a knife in the front hand, ready for battle. Hiding a knife in the back hand, waiting for the opportunity. This is the Wing Chun 8 chopping knives. Hidden knife in the arm technique. Plowing knife block. Chen Shi blocked this knife. But he had to admit that Master Liu's knife skill was very high. Bao step stabbing knife. The subtlety of this technique lies in the fact that the blade is facing downward. Chen Shi blocked a stabbing knife. But as long as Master Liu changed his move and chopped downward, Chen Shi's right leg would definitely be lost. Notice here, the back hand holding the red ribbon attached to the ring at the end of the knife instead of the knife handle caused the lack of strength and he had to give up this idea. Right hand knife cuts the front hand. Left hand knife chops off the red ribbon. Chest wipe throat seal. Martial arts is not so magical. A thought may have already decided the outcome, after all. The meaning of martial arts is to kill the opponent. The weapon he is holding is a single-edged sword, which looks very similar to the eight chopping knives, but in fact, it is not the same kind. Knife Salute Shattered Shadows of Knives clamping the knife and rubbing the hand. At this time, the two people blocked each other's left hand knife. The right hand knife attacked on the upper road, temporarily tied. Stabbing the knife to block, Dan Shifu was about to exert his force. But Chen Shi had already taken half a step ahead, pressing his arm and stabbing downward, sealing off Dan Shifu's left and right hands. And the outcome was decided. The third master to enter the stage was Master Lu, who wielded a weapon called King Long Ji, a long spear with a single crescent-shaped blade. His stance was very strange. In Chinese martial arts, it was called drip style. He could move left and right with his cross steps on the lower road, and he could chop down or lift up with his two hands holding the spear on the upper road. His technique and footwork combined attack and defense as one. but Chen Shi's attention was on the weapon on his back. There must be something hidden in it. His years of experience told him that he had to fight quickly and decisively. He intercepted with a horizontal stick, taking advantage of his later move and directly knocked Chen Shi down to his knees, seeing that Chen Shi was off balance. He wanted to finish him off with a downward chop. But Chen Shi's real purpose was to exchange for a chance to get close to him. He had to take a risk to end it quickly. Chen Shi blocked with his double knives, pressing down and slashing at Master Lu's leading hand, trying to disarm him. Master Lu simply went along with his plan, threw away his weapon and drew out the knife behind his back, slashing at Chen Shi. This is what real Chinese martial arts are like. Without so many special effects and rounds, the outcome is decided in an instant. 